Nossa, mãe, como assim? Não, tá live, já tem um joinha. É você? Traz aqui, deixa aqui perto pra gente olhar. Beleza. Oh. <risos> Alex, hello Johnny Cran Baby. Fernando, fala hi pro pessoal aí. Fala hi. Hi. Olha lá. Olha lá. Hi. Fala. Olha lá. Olha aqui, gordão. Não, filha da mãe. Fala hi. Hi. Gordo. Gordo. <risos> Olha aqui, papai. Olha aqui, papai. Ó. Olha aqui, ó. Olha lá. Ó. Fala ó. hi. Isso. Ah, deixa eu... <risos> tá bom. Hi. Hi guys, how are you? Hi. Ah, esquece, okay. não vai falar não. Ethan, John, how are you guys? A Tina, Fernando. Hi, Mason. Hi, everyone. Lexi, Hudson, Preston. Chad, Chad how are you? Tina. Chris, <laughs> Margaret, how are you? Hi, Ken. Ken, Cash. Hey, Cash, how are you, Cash? Provavelmente tá junto. So, guys, remember, this week we are training, working about takedowns, okay? So, we're gonna do the warm up, the regular work on both sides, that stuff. And then we're gonna start it. And before we start the technique, we're gonna play. Remember, if you don't have the balloon on your house, you can use a plastic bag. Like this one. Okay? So ask your, your mom, your dad to try find a balloon in your house or If you don't have, just grab a plastic bag and then you're gonna be able to play the game with us. So again, we're gonna do the warm up. We're gonna play the games and then we're gonna work the techniques and about the, the takedowns, okay? We're gonna do a review about yesterday, working the Sotogari, Koshiguruma, Iponsioi, Ochigari, Kochigari. And then we're gonna do add two more options: the ankle pick, and we can work the kataguruma. Okay? If you don't have a mat area in your house, you work in drilling the technique without throw the partner. Okay? So 
Remember, running into the mind body, do your check in there. It's important for us uh, to stay, to have who has engaged with us in the online classes. And when we reopen the doors, we're going to credit to you uh, as a regular class. Anthony, how are you, buddy? No, no, so tá rolando aqui, ó. Tá rolando, não, fazer tá certo. E eu volto. So, I will try stay checking the cell phone just to make sure and the internet is working, okay? If not, I, or we get on again online. And then we're gonna keep it working, okay? So let's go. So we start in the class, it's gonna be jumping jacks, 30 seconds, slowly, push-ups, 30 seconds, and then sit-ups, 30 seconds. And then we're gonna do a couple more exercise just to get the body ready to do the training. The first one, jumping jacks. Three, two, one, go. Ten seconds. Time. Push ups now. Three, two, one, go. Knees off the mat. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Time, back up. High knees. Time. Reach up. Let's go. Working both sides. Try to keep your feet in the same place. Don't extend your legs. 
Connor, Graham, how are you guys? AK, good for you. Now you have a good Parker train. Smash it in. Good year. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to say this name in English. In Portuguese, in Brazil, we call it a Golias, but I'm not sure here. I think it's Goliath. I, I'm. I have no idea, sorry. But it's good for you, Ken. Good partner. Okay, guys. So, we're gonna do, we're gonna, we call it a game, but it's still an exercise, okay? Uh, I'm gonna stay on bottom first. And uh, I have two options. Either I can keep in, stay on my back and keep in my legs here. Or I can stay on my butt, keep my back off the mat, okay? But if, I'm sta if I stay here, I can use my hands to try block her hands. But it's going to be harder to stay moving my, my body. Especially if her is starting walking around myself. It's hard to follow her. So, if you are on bottom, you can only use your hands to keep her head safe. The person on bottom needs to try touch the partner head. Every time she touches my head, I need to do 10 push-ups, okay? I'm gonna be on bottom for one and a half, and then I'm gonna switch top and bottom. So try to pay attention how I like to move in my body. It's a good exercise to learn how you can play a guard and stay on bottom, and how you have to use your legs to do a, Retention guard, okay? So you can stay using your elbows on the floor to bring your hips up off the mat, and then it's gonna be easier to move your hips and follow your partner. Remember, don't kick your partner, okay? Don't kick her. As soon as I step on her body, I can push her away, but don't kick your partner. And remember, if the person are, are close too much, here you can use your hands, blocking the partner arms. But the most important is how you use your legs to keep the partner away. And if you are on top, you cannot use your hands in the partner legs, okay? Try to use your hands just to try touch the partner head, okay? Wait a minute. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Nah. No, it's so all okay. So, Tina and Tina, Chad, who else? Tina, Chad, John. Play with your kid, okay? Tina, try to play with Chris, John. I know you probably will have your gi on, and so play with Ethan. Chad, go try have some fun with Mason and play with your kid. It's a fun game. Uh, ready, kids? Ready, part? Parents? Three, two, one, go! Oh, <laughs> 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 
de canção de anjos. Uma loucura. Você não pode usar a mão na minha pele. Ai, nossa, desculpa, não sabia. Esqueci. Hoje, 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 hoje. Professor. Good, good. Lexi, Hudson, Preston, go switching, okay? If your partner was touch your head, Stay out doing that push-ups and switch the person on board. Let's go, what do I have? Three, two, one, go!
Time, you guys. Another exercise, but we like to call as a game. So we're gonna start in the fight stance. Remember, try to stay low, okay? Always matching the level. If I'm If I'm here and Herica keeping her level lower than myself, it's easier for Herica to shot for the double and take me, take myself down, okay? So always match the level. If your partner is on this level, stay in the same level, always match the level. And the game is one who win the game who touch the, le the partner leg first. So my goal is try touching her leg before her can touch my leg. And I can lose my hands, blocking her arms, or they strong, okay? But don't keep her knees on the floor. Don't stay as a third position, this or dog position. Keep her knees off the mat, stay on her feet, and stay walking, okay? Switching the... You have to do 10 push-ups. If you are, if you have two or three partner training, every time someone touch your leg, stay out, down your push-ups, and let the, the partner, the other people play the game. Three, two, one, go, two minutes. Foi na perna? Você quer falar que foi na perna? Tá ótimo. Bom, 10, 10, 10.
Here we go. Last game before we started working the techniques of the week, the dead take notes. If you have a balloon, close it. If you don't have, plastic bag, okay? Just ask your dad, your mom to help you and get your balloon already. We're gonna play this game for only three minutes, whole body. At the second minute, hands only, and then you're gonna add the sprawl. So every time you hit the balloon, hands only, hit the balloon, you need to do one sprawl, okay? If you pop the balloon, you and your partner have to do 100 push-ups. And I can hit the balloon once, okay? If I hit the balloon twice, I have to do 15 push-ups. So if you pop the balloon, 15 push-ups. So for the first minute, you can lose hands, knees, feet, just stay, move your body. Second minute, hands only, and every time you touch the balloon, one sprawl. Third minute, feet only, okay? So kick the balloon, break fall, technical stand-up. Okay, very simple, first minute, Hands, knees, feet, head, shoulder. Second minute, hands only. Hit the balloon, sprawl. Third minute, feet. Kick the balloon, break fall, technical stand up. It's gonna be three minutes only. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Stay, hit the balloon as a volleyball. Try to force our partner to move. Forty seconds. Era sua vez. Você joga pra baixo, né? Assim, cara, né? Desleal. O tempo, o tempo, mano. o tempo, joga pra cima e para mexer no tempo. Time! Second minute, hit the balloon, alls, and one sprawl. Hands on, ok? Doze your knees, your feet. Hands on. Uma vez. Once, uma vez, twice, duas vezes. Go! One minute.
Okay, guys, last minute. Kick the balloon, break for our technical stand up. Try to use your feet only. Don't use your hands, don't use your arms. Good job, you guys. Let's do a quick water break and then start working that takedowns. Go ahead, go drink some water. Okay guys, we're gonna do a quick review about all, about all the techniques we worked yesterday, okay? So same grip, and then my second grip is gonna be on her arm. Remember, don't, don't stay holding near the partner wrist, okay? If I grab, if I do my grip here, she is able to bend her, her arm and stay using her elbow against my chest and controlling myself. So if I grab it here, if I'm holding here on her triceps, after the elbow, it's better. I can open her arm, I can close, bend in her arm. I have more control when I'm holding here. So we're gonna do the Sutta Gyari in three steps. One, two, three. There is no power in my body. If I keep my head here, moving in forward, I can use my chest, my shoulder, my chest against her shoulder. And then I have more power in my take down. So we're gonna do it. We work it, the Osuto The second one was Koshiguruma. It's when the partner stepped back to escape. And then I switch my right hand, hugging her neck. I need to bring my left foot step back here, and then I turn around, I squat down, and then I use my back, my butt, to lift her body. To throw, you just need to face your left side. 
and stay putting, keep him putting the opening, throw the party. But remember, if you don't have a mat area in your house, you don't need to throw your partner. If you are working with your dad, with your mom, and they are heavier than yourself, you don't need to throw them. Just get the, the position. And then reset. The third one was the Ponciori. It's when I it's a bad it's a better option when I'm fighting a taller person than myself. And then instead of I hugging the neck, I, I'm gonna use my right arm here under her arm. Same thing about my left foot. Step closer, I turn around, squat down. And then same way, I stay pulling her arm. I'm here and I'm gonna bring in my head, lean forward and then losing my butt again, my back. Lifting her body, you just need to extend your legs, stretch your legs. The third one, the next one, go to the Soto Gary, and then I'm not. Step back, and now I'm gonna use my right foot under her leg. And again, keep your foot behind the knee, okay? Same thing, don't step on the floor. Pay attention how I keep my foot off the mat. And I'm using my leg as a hook, controlling her leg. About my grip, as soon as I got this hook, I'm gonna stay using my collar grip, pulling her collar down, and my grip on her sleeve, bringing her arm up, driving her body this way. And if I'm using my right leg here, I need to turn my body into my right side. To finish the Ochigari the right way. So I'm here. I was trying to do the Soto Gary. First step, left foot, step closer. And then I, I can keep in my weight on my left leg. So left foot, bring your left foot closer. Right foot under the partner leg. And don't step on the floor. Keep your foot off the mat. Now you just need to drive your partner, lose your grips, and facing, turn your body into the right side. Finish the takedown. And remember, don't need to throw your partner. Just get the takedown position. So. I go to the Soto Gary, she steps back escaping. First step, left foot, right foot now under her leg, and then I just need to turn my body to the right. Next one, I go to the Soto Ochi Gary, and before I trap her leg, she steps back again. I go to the Soto Gary, she escaped it. I'm gonna do a transition going into the Ochigari. She escaped it. And then I'm gonna bring my right foot behind this side leg. Here, her ankle. I'm using my foot as a hook again, trapping her foot. And then I need to use my legs and my grip, sorry. For the Ochigari, I was putting the collar down and pushing her arm up. Now I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna stay bringing her arm down and pushing her shoulder backwards. So, go to the Ochigari. I go to the Ochigari. She escaped it from here. Go to the Kochigari now. Right foot behind the heel, the ankle. And then you just need to use your grips, pulling the arm down and pushing the shoulder. Sorry guys, Fernando wants to train. So, 
go into the Sotogar. She escaped it. I'm gonna do that transition into the Ochi Guard. She escaped it. Let's finish the, the attack using the coach guard. Professor, it's hard to stay using only my foot there. You can work that ankle pick. So I'm gonna do the same thing, Osoto Gary, Ochigari. She escaped it, and then I'm gonna do the ankle pick. I still need to bring my foot here, but now I'm gonna switch my grip, sleeve it for her heel. And then I have more power using my foot and my arm to throw her. So let's work back and forth if you have a partner training. If you don't have a partner training, if you are working with your dad, your mom, just you stay working, breathing, practicing the takeoff. So, first, Osoto Gary, you don't need to throw, Osoto Gary, you can. And then your partner does. Now I go to the Osoto Gary, and then I'm gonna do the transition. Get in the Koshiguru Uma. Just lift your partner body. If you have a good mat area, throw your partner. And then your partner does the same thing. Now I go to the Soto Gary, she escapes, and then I'm gonna get the Ipon Sioi. Next one, Ochigari. Last one, Kochigari and Enko Pick. Let's stay working these transitions for two minutes, okay? Back and forth. One person do the Soto Gary, the partner does the same. Go to the Soto Gary, the person steps back, escaping. Go to the Koshiguruma, the partner does the same. And then Ibon Sioi, and then Ochigari, and then Kochigari, and Kopik. We're gonna work for two minutes, two minutes and a half, and then we're gonna do another option going into the Kataguruma. Okay? Let's go, let's work.
gonna do another transition going into the kataguruma, okay? Same way to start in the position, I try to use my right foot, my right leg to do something. From here, I'm gonna bring my left foot stepping back and turning my body into my right side, okay? As soon as I start turning my body, I'm gonna drop my left foot on the floor, losing my left arm under her leg, and I have that collar grip, and I need to lose that grip, bringing her head towards my shoulder, and then I'm gonna be able to lift her body and throw her. But again, once again, you don't need to throw your partner. Just get the position, the kataguruma position, the right position, and then reset. Okay, so I go to the sotogari, same thing, one, two, three. She escaped it from here, right foot step back. I turn my body into the right side, try to bring your right elbow up. And then I have the space to bring my head under my arm. So as soon as I was turning, I'm gonna drop my left knee on the floor using my left arm under her leg, and then I need to bring her head towards my shoulder. So I'm gonna use it to throw her. So, I go to the Sotogari, same thing, one, two, three, she escaped it. So, if I, if I want to work, Another transitions without stay using my right leg like we did. I, I a good transition, a good option is go to the kataguru. So from here, right foot step back. Now I need to bring my right elbow up, and I have more space here because I need to try connecting my head on her stomach. So I'm gonna drop my left knee on the floor at the same time. Using my left arm, hugging her leg, under her leg. And now remember that corner grip? So it's time to lose it. I'm gonna bring her head down, pulling her collar. Now it's gonna be easier to lift her body, doing a posture up. To throw her, I just need to throw her body, lean forward, rolling forward, her body. And remember, if you're gonna finish the take it off, make sure you escape your head, Bring your head up before you finish the take down. Don't throw your partner body over your head, okay? So as soon as I start to throw her body, I need to bring my head up, and then I can finish the take down, getting the regular side control, chest and chest, one arm behind the neck, other arm under her arm. So again, regular grips, go. So the Soto Gary, one, two, three, she escaped it. From here, right foot step back, turning to the right side, bring your elbow up, and then drop your left knee on the floor. I have my right knee up, right knee off the mat. It's good to keep a good base. You can drop both knees on the floor, but sometimes it's easier to lose the balance, okay? So I like to keep my right knee off the mat. Left arm under the partner leg, and then bringing the partner head down, pulling the core down. Now I just need to posture up, look to the ceiling, and to finish, I'm gonna throw her body lean forward. Head up, escape her head, and get the side control. Go to the Sotogari, one, two, three, the partner escape it. Right foot step back, turning to the right side, drop your left knee on the floor. Now left arm under the leg, just bring the partner head down towards your shoulder and then posture up. I need to elevate her body. And from here, it's easier to throw the person, just rolling forward, lean forward. Let's work this option, getting the kataguruma take it down, back, just lift your partner body and reset. Don't throw the partner. Let's go, two minutes on. 
Faz aqui. Para. Não mexe. Uhum. Ai, Sabe fazer isso? Fala tchau. Hi. Fala tchau. So guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the support. You, all you guys are very amazing, super special for us. We all miss you guys, and <laughs> I hope to see you guys tomorrow. And Hi. tomorrow we have 10 a.m. class <laughs> with Professor Giuliano. And don't forget, we have that challenge to do this week, okay? So bye, love you all. Bye bye. 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 Deixa que eu vou pegar ele agora.